Hello everybody, we're coming to you from One Man's Dream, or actually I guess it's now called Walt Disney Presents, the film is One Man's Dream. Uh, we're going to take a look at a cool little fun find here that kind of leads to the entire evolution of Disneyland and Walt Disney World and, well, just Disney parks everywhere. So this is Buddy Epson. Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, so if you go through it on this side right here, it says, A new dimension in animation. Walt's desire to expand the horizons of animated animation led to the creation of the first three-dimensional animated character, Project Little Man, a one-eighth scale tap dancing vaudeville and Walt envisioned building a series of dioramas featuring these miniature animated figures and ideas that would ultimately lead to the creation of Disneyland. But what they don't tell you about this is over here, we actually have the tap dancing man. This is the prototype. Now the stage itself is actually created by Walt Disney himself along with Ken Anderson. And then in addition to that, um, the mechanics which you can find it down here. We'll go to the other side in just a second here. We're done by Roger Brogy, who obviously, if you've been to Disneyland, you know that one of the trains over there is actually named the Roger Brogy. Or actually, no, Walt Disney World. It's Walt Disney World that has it. I'm, I'm tired, I apologize. But anyways, so the idea was to have a bunch of these little creations, like this Project Little Man, on a train. And the train would actually go all around the US and have a bunch of different little scenes. Now as time would go on, they would eventually realize that maybe this idea of all these different scenes would be good, but at the same time, it probably just would not work at the train yards because train yards are typically not the cleanest place and they wanted to have it so there's a lot of clean places. Here's the yard mechanics on the back side. So what they eventually would do was they would take this idea and expand it to become the Mickey Mouse theme park. And eventually that Mickey Mouse theme park grew to a bigger idea as well and eventually would become known as Disneyland. So if it wasn't for this Project Little Man from way back in 1949, we never would have received Disneyland, which is right here ahead of us and all the wonderful parks around Walt Disney World and all around the world to this day.